Hello, 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 hello. Are you ready for another art project? Today we are being inspired by an artist named Wayne Thiebaud. And he just passed away at 101 years old. Let me show you some of his work. He painted desserts. When he was younger, he would go to the bakery and see cakes with all of this frosting and lemon meringue pies with all this frosting. And so he always looked at that frosting like it was paint. And so he just painted these cakes and pies and lollipops and sweets, among other things. But this is what he's best known as. Over and over and over again, he painted these and he painted them from memory. So today we are going to be inspired by Wayne's work since he just passed away. And we are gonna be drawing cakes as well. So what you're gonna need for this is a piece of mixed media paper, a pencil, a Sharpie, and you get to choose what you want to color it in, whether it be paint, watercolors, or acrylic paint, or color pencils, or markers. It's up to you. All right, so go grab those things and come on back. All right, so do you have everything you need, all the supplies? Let's jump in. I am going to start with pencil. One of the things about the way that Wayne worked is he drew everything from memory. So we're gonna do the same thing. So let's just take out a sheet of paper. I'm gonna tear this out. Move this out of the way. All right, let's take our paper and put it horizontally like this. And then you get to draw either cakes or slices of cakes or cupcakes even. Um, it's totally up to you. So I think I'm going to draw slices of cakes so I can do different layers of the cakes. And make sure you put your cakes on plates too. So I'm just gonna roughly sketch some just small plates here. And I'm gonna do this in Sharpie here so you can see it, but let me just get these kind of sketched out. Okay. I am just gonna start with placing the plates so you can decide how many plates of cakes or slices of cakes you want. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, I'm giving a little bit of room at the top of the plate so the cake can extend out. And we're not, we don't need to look at anything for reference because he didn't. So we're just going to do it from memory. I'm going to start with making a little shape that looks like a rectangle, but the top part is going to be more at a slant. So then I can add the back top side. That's all really it is. And then you can go in and add detail. Well, I'm going to make this a three layer cake. So I'm going to put two layers of frosting in between. Now for this one, I am going to make it maybe face a different way. So I'll start and for this one, it looks like I brought my plate a little bit too far. So I'm going to use that as where like the frosting will be. And I think I'm going to go like this too. All right. Um, then you can also, if you want, make your plates more three dimensional. And one thing that he did was he used a really light blue background on most of his paintings. 
So we're going to do the same thing. Just continuing to make slices of cake. Maybe put some frosting on this one. And the different layers. And here again. Just trying to make these look a little bit different from each other, but if they don't, that's okay. And then this last one. Another slice of cake with the layers. All right. Now you can go back and add more decoration to them if you want. I'm doing these little scallops like they're frosting. If you wanted to put like a cherry on top or a strawberry, sure can. So how does yours look? Okay, so next I'm going to get out my light blue paint and paint in this background and then we will well I will paint in the cakes so um, go find your light blue paint if you have watercolor or acrylic um, I'm gonna use acrylic for the background because that feels like the most frosting like so I'm gonna grab that and start painting the background all right so I have this bigger brush here because there's a lot to paint. If you can find a bigger brush, that's going to be great. And I'm going to mix two paints together. Actually, I'm going to do three. I'm going to do mostly blue with a little bit of white. Well, actually, probably mostly white with a little bit of blue and just a tint of green because his backgrounds are a little blue green. So I'm just going to start with shaking this up, putting a big blob of this, so a big blob of paint, a little bit of blue, And then just a squirt of green. Oh, I didn't shake that up very well. Let me try that again. All right. Now I will mix this together. All right, now I'm gonna start painting the background. Most of his backgrounds are all one color. So I'm just gonna do this all one color. I love using the mixed media paper because it holds the paint so well.
All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and come back and finish it up. If your paper starts to warp like this and you don't like it, you can always tape it down with some masking tape and then carefully peel up the paint or the tape when you're done so it doesn't rip the paper. All right. Let's put another coat on here. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough. I think his backgrounds were just a little bit lighter, but that's okay. All right. So when you're done with the background, you can go rinse out your brush. And then I'm going to grab my watercolors and do the rest in watercolor. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna rinse this out. I have my water and I'm gonna be using this big brush because his brush strokes weren't very refined. And so I thought I would try this big brush, even if I have little spaces here to paint in, just to experiment. I like experimenting. And if we look back on his work, I'm looking at the color palette and we talked about the light background, but then he also uses these dark blue shadows, some yellows and some pinks and some reds. So those are the colors that I'm going to stick to uh, with mine. I've got some yellow on my brush. I'm going to be using watercolor for this. And I think I'm going to just start by using the yellow just straight up in the middle. And let me just look back to his again. So yeah, the insides of his are different colors. I am going to maybe use yellow for the inside for this guy because once I have color on my brush I like to use it more than once and let's just balance this out by doing another yellow here and this one will have two different colors on it all right next I'm gonna grab some pink and use this pink here loving it and maybe using it as the icing and the top of this guy maybe I'll use it down here too and I am going to also put some pink on this one going to be a red velvet cake down here and let's call that good for now all right what about a little orange orange works works well with yellow so I'll just put orange here and this one will be have orange frosting and maybe this has an orange middle and an orange top. See how nice it is using these big brushes? Kind of get washes of color in here. And maybe I will use a little yellow, I mean orange, up here as well. So I'm just sticking to a few colors, not too many. Put some pink here. And we'll make the strawberry pink. And let's just do this pink too. All right, let's look back at his plates. What does he do for plates? They're a little bit white with 
those dark blue shadows. So let's go in and add those. I'm going to take some blue and just going to have the light coming in from this side. So all the shadows will be cast to the right. So we got a little shadow on the cake and from the plate. I think that looks exactly like a Henry Tebow painting. So there you go. I cannot wait to see how yours turns out. Please take a picture of it and share it with me. I love, love, love seeing your work. I hope you enjoyed this. And let's eat cake. All right, until the next time, talk to you later. Bye.